Uyuntas. Uh, it's a Thursday at about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, really, really peaceful. I don't expect to see anybody up here today. There might be somebody up here tomorrow, but who knows. Uh, I just got camp set up here behind you, and uh, I'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee before probably rigging up and uh, finding some water to fish. There's a couple lakes up here, more so ponds, that I, I, I've been wanting to fish all year, so I'm pretty excited to be here. I still haven't got my Orvis sent out to get repaired yet, so I've got my girlfriend's fly rod. But anyhow, I was going to show you what I have in my cook slash coffee kit. Uh, collapsible Sea to Summit mug. I actually think this is the cup. The mug's a little bigger. Typically on my solo trips, I bring a, a little BRS. Um, that I got off Amazon for like $14, but that, that failed uh, three or four trips ago, so I, uh, I'm using my old MSR Pocket Rocket, which I really like, fantastic little stove. This is a Tokes Titanium 500 milliliter pot, uh, really awesome lightweight, cook pot. Um, this one is only big enough to house a fuel canister. You can't put a canister and a stove in there. That doesn't bother me at all. It's fine. Outside of that, I have a small Bic lighter and some waterproof matches. And coffee. I'm going to have one cup of coffee now and then get busy. I can hear that boiling. I typically take it off right before simmer, but.
there was two cars in the parking lot when I pulled in this morning. Uh, one of them was day hikers. I passed them hiking out as I was coming in. No idea where the other car is. Um, there's a lot of trails, you know, that you can take from the parking lot. They could be anywhere. I haven't seen or heard anybody since, you know, the, since when I hiked in back by the trailhead. But should be pretty peaceful, pretty quiet. Really good campsite up here in this little meadow, just overlooking the lake, the cliffs. Uh, four, and maybe there's five or six uh, lakes and ponds, you know, in my immediate proximity that have, have fish. So, All right, my coffee is gone. I processed uh, some firewood for tonight, so whenever I make it back to camp and want a fire, I can just go ahead and get that started and I don't have to collect anything. Food bags hung, and I'm gonna gear up and hit the water for an hour or maybe two. Uh, there's a little pond I'm gonna walk down to uh, that I think should have some pretty good brook trout if I can catch one. Um, got my girlfriend, Dreddington. I think I said that earlier. Uh, so we're gonna rig up. Okay, this little pond is where I was after. I think I'm gonna walk over to that other bank and get started. Got an olive leech pattern on right now uh, with a jig hook. actually just saw a big fish rise. Uh, there's supposed to be some good brook trout in here. Historically, it's a pretty tough lake to fish. Okay, so I'm actually headed back to the lake by camp. Uh, it's getting pretty dark out. I can hear some thunder in the distance. I didn't bring my rain jacket with me and I left the vestibule open in my tent. So if it does start raining, I wanna be able to get right back up to camp and uh, get that shut. So I'm gonna go fish the lake by camp and uh, we'll come back here a little later. Well, that's what I was walking away from is all that dark stuff that's blowing in. But I'm right beneath my camp now, so if it does start raining, I'm less than a minute from my tent. So we're going to fish again. There we go.
I made the 10 or so minute hike to the pond I wanted to fish, kind of got chased out of there by the weather, uh, fished the lake right beneath me for 10 or so minutes, and then I, uh, I decided to come back up to camp and kind of wait this uh, weather out. It's still pretty dark out, but it looks like there's a lot of blue sky behind it. I imagine if the wind continues like it is, you know, I should have pretty blue sky again here in 30 or so minutes. So I'm going to hang out in the tent, read my book, might even take a nap. I've been up, uh, you know, I got up early and I've been up here for a few hours already. So who knows, but we'll get back after it soon. All right, it's been raining for about an hour. It almost looks like there's some sun coming through, though. It's hard to tell from in here. I am uh, heading back down to the water. I'm just going to go to the lake right below my camp because it's still pretty threatening out here. And I don't want to venture up to the lake up on the hill until I know it's not going to rain. But I do have, at least I have my vestibule shut on my tent, and I have rain gear in my bag. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to work my way around this rock outcropping, and uh, if it stays like this and doesn't get any worse, I'm going to work my way up this hill uh, to a, a lake up here. So we'll see. I've got a purple and pink midge on right now. Okay, so I did make my way up to the upper pond. It's still, you know, it's still a little cloudy out and thundering, but uh, it's only a 10, maybe 15 minutes from camp, so it's not too far to walk back down to. Uh, my camera went dead in my big camera, but I did hook into a really nice brook trout down at the other lake. Uh, about 12 inches, really healthy, very pretty fish. So, I know they're in there, and it did take my pink and purple uh, scud pattern, but I'm going to fish this for maybe an hour if the weather's going to allow me, and then I'll make my way back to camp and fish some more, and then just kind of hang out down there before starting a fire and relaxing, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. I've got some line out and I'm going to get started. Here we go. <laughs> That's my rain gear, pants and coat. Uh, it got ugly, guys. Whew, yeah. Uh, wow. It uh, started coming down bad. Uh, Full-blown thunderstorm. I put my rain pants, my rain jacket on, and had to put my hood on, and uh, hurried back to my tent. It's just sprinkling now, but it's still really, really ugly out. So we're going to hang tight in the tent again, and uh, hopefully it passes. It's uh, 10 after 5, so I don't know uh, what the rest of the night's going to bring, but we'll see. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's cold, guys. Um, it finally uh, cleared up a little bit. It's still a little cloudy, but I see some sun, a little blue sky over there and over there. Uh, it's still pretty wet, the ground, but it's not raining. I'm going fishing. I've got about an hour before it starts to get dark. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to fish for about an hour, then come back and see if I can get some of that wet wood started uh, and have a fire. Oh, it is so pretty out right now. <laughs> oh, I love this. You know, it uh, 
it's not fun when you're kind of hunkered down in a tent, but now it was all worth it. I've got at least an hour, at least an hour. And uh, you know, catch rate's been slow. I've caught one fish and had one bite. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna turn my big camera off and cover it up because it is still kind of sprinkling a little bit. I have my GoPro on a chest mount and I'm gonna try to just use that and we'll see what happens if I can catch something. But anyway, here we go. It's 7.45, maybe a little closer to 8. I'm back here at camp. I did spend a good hour down on the water. No fish. Uh, very, very little activity. And, you know, that just, that just happens sometimes. It's fishing. Uh, some days are good, some are bad, and there's everything in between. I did land, uh, as far as my daily totals go, one fish, one strike. The fish I did land off the rocks over there was a very healthy brook trout probably 12 inches. Uh, he was a chunky little guy. Would have been awesome for dinner, but I turned him loose. Uh, weather today has been awful. I've spent a lot of time in my tent. I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, video to, to show for it, but it happens sometimes. Now today, as far as the forecast is concerned, was supposed to be a great day. Awesome day. It hasn't been. Now tomorrow, uh, as far as this morning's forecast showed, it was supposed to be terrible. So I'm hoping the storm kind of moved in a little bit early, and it happened today, and tomorrow's a, a, an awesome day. But I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. For right now, I'm going to get a fire started. I'm starving. I'm going to get dinner going. I've got a ramen bomb tonight, and uh, we'll probably be in the tent in an hour or two in bed. But I've got a lot of firewood, so... Here comes a fire and relaxing. Eh, nobody up here but me. Unless I'm bushcrafting or, you know, a special occasion, this is my go-to fire starter, cotton balls, Vaseline. It works well. I think I've got six cotton balls in here. I'll probably use two. And, and I could really get away with one but I don't want to get Vaseline on my hands so I won't pull them apart and I'll use two and we should be good It works. Okay, uh, so my chair is uh, unfortunately wet from all the, uh, the rain today. Uh, I'll try and dry it out here in a minute, but I want to get some water heated up. I'm pretty hungry. My ramen bomb needs just a little over a cup, about a cup and a quarter of water. I got 300 milliliters in there. It's a pretty stable platform, and that should do the trick. to put the lid on it it just brings it to a boil a little bit quicker
Woo! Smells good. I'm gonna cut the the bag to make it a little easier to get into. My chair is much comfortabler than this rock, but uh, I checked it and it's still a little wet. Delicious. about 9 30 ish I'm just getting to my tent I'm gonna get this down off me so I can uh, you know get in my bed and relax it's too hot for my micro poof I'm gonna read a book for probably 20 or 30 minutes until I start feeling tired then I'm gonna put a movie on which I'll fall asleep to I have a, a few downloaded so uh, I had a good day, a lot of downtime, a lot of tent time, but overall a good day. It feels good to be out and uh, have a good night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I woke up at about 7, but then I just laid there. I was trying to go back to sleep, but I couldn't do it. I didn't sleep well at all last night. It, uh, it thunderstormed all night long. Uh, so anytime I fall asleep, anytime I would fall asleep, the thunder would be too loud, the wind would start blowing, the rain. I <laughs> uh, didn't sleep well at all, so we're going to have a, a super strong cup of coffee, have some oatmeal for breakfast, and then, then I'll uh, go from there. It's still pretty overcasty, but we'll see. There's a, a lake down near the pond that I went to uh, yesterday when I got here that I wanted to go fish for a little bit, so filter a little water, get some coffee, some breakfast, and Start going from there. My back's a little, a little tight. I uh, during one of my periods of sleep, I must have slept on it a little funny. Uh, the muscles really, really tight. But uh, coffee again. We're gonna do one of the Starbucks gourmets mixed with uh, just a regular coffee. Pretty good little breakfast. Uh, pretty good little breakfast drink anyways. And then when my body wakes up a little bit, I got some uh, some instant oatmeal. I think uh, brown sugar or something like that. Some steel cut oats. They're pretty good. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna walk up to this incredible view over here and drink my coffee. Uh, I wanted to check, uh, I wanted to get this on camera last night, but it was just too wet. So we'll go now. Look at this incredible view. This is about two minutes from camp. Unbelievable. <laughs> Delicious coffee. Incredible view. Yeah, so that's just an incredible view. I love I love this place for that view. But uh, I'm going to go down. Got a little sip of coffee left. Gonna get breakfast started, and then uh, have a little early morning adventure. Uh, it looks like I lied. These are apple cinnamon steel cut oats. Really, really good.
a little over a cup of water. I'll eat these right out of my coffee cup um, and then just clean my coffee cup when I'm done. So if you're looking at a map, there's actually not a trail shown on the map to get to this pond and lake. There is one, it's just very primitive. We're almost to the pond I was at yesterday. I'll probably bypass that and go to the bigger lake first. Beautiful. Uh, I forgot there was two ponds in between me and the bigger lake that I'm going to. The one that I was fishing at yesterday uh, is about five minutes behind this, so we should be pretty close to the bigger lake. Awesome. Made it to the lake. Really pretty back here. It was about 25 minutes from camp to lake. It is sprinkling, so I'm going to get my big camera covered up, but I'll put my chest mount GoPro on, and uh, you know, if I hook into something, hopefully I can catch it with that, but we're going to get fishing. Just hooked into a fish. Feels like a pretty good fish. We'll see where my net is. I do have a net with me this time. Good fish. Real good fish. Oh, beautiful fish. Wow. Look at that guy. Incredible. Wow. Hold on. Hold on, little buddy. I'm going to put you back in the water. Here we go. <laughs> yeah all right it's uh cleared up enough that i got my big camera back out just caught a really nice fish super psyched about it we're gonna get back out there and try and catch another one <laughs> wow uh, as you can see i'm in full-blown rain gear pants jacket uh, the only thing that is getting wet is my feet it is uh it's been dumping on me um one fish out of this lake really good sized fish i think i got it on my gopro and uh two little bites i wouldn't even call them strikes but I'm going to work my way back towards uh, camp and I'm going to stop at probably one of the ponds and uh, try my luck there before going back to camp. And, uh, you know, when that happens, I'll make a new plan from camp. So. There is no signs of this letting up from any direction. Uh, the wind's coming this way. There's no clear skies. Obviously, you can see that. Beautiful up here. So even though I'm prepared, you know, I have rain gear, but I don't think I just want to sit hunkered down in my tent. And uh, I mean, I have been fishing for three hours, but, uh, you know, I'm not catching anything. Just one fish and uh, a couple of little bites today. So I am... Almost certain I'm gonna hike back down to my camp and uh, get cleaned up and enjoy a nice uh, wet hike out of here. 
uh, if I get packed up and leave right now, I can beat traffic on the way home and I am packed up. It's always a hard decision, but it's, it's so wet. The ground has like inches of standing water on it. Everything in my tent's wet. I'm wet. So had a really great trip and uh, I'm going to start walking out of here. It'll probably take me about two hours to get to my truck, maybe a little shorter. So should be a pretty hike out. <laughs> wow, uh, two o'clock, back to my truck. Perfect timing. I'm gonna beat all the Friday traffic. Uh, but I wanted to share a little insight as to what happened and, and, and why I'm going home. Typically, a, a rainstorm won't send me home. Um, you know, I was prepared for it. I knew it was coming, had rain gear, but my tent, the Nemo Blaze, the bathtub flooring, uh, where the doors are, it's only like three inches tall at the most. And typically the vestibules cover all that and you're, and you're you know, you're well protected, you know, in big rainstorms like what happened, you know, pretty much all day yesterday and today. But uh, what I didn't do is use extra guy line to stake the tent out a little better. In, in high winds, the tent will flatten right out. And, and that's what had happened when I was uh, gone during the day is uh, you know it was the, the wind was flattening it out there was a lot of rain and where I happened to place the tent that little uh, grassy area it wasn't draining very well so there was standing water in it and that water went into my tent uh, there was standing water inside my tent and unfortunately uh, you know I didn't sleep last night and this morning when I was kind of kicking around before getting out of my tent I pushed my quilt off me you know everything I put on the floor of the tent so my quilt was uh soaking wet my poof was soaking wet everything was wet and it was raining real bad and i just had to make a decision and uh, this is what it was so it's totally fine i really had a good time and uh, we'll be back at it soon